What's up guys, Ankle Spangin here, and today we are playing as Darius on the PBE, going to test out the new Atma's Reckoning, actually, is what it's called on the PBE. If you guys are old, 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 like OG players back in like 09 or 2010, you might remember an item called Atma's Impaler. It was an item that gave you crit chance and some other garbage, and then it had this passive where it would give you more AD based on your health. So, Riot was like, you know what, we're going to make this random piece of garbage in MS Paint and call it Atmos and slap some new stats on it to make it more fit for the current game. And that's exactly what they did with Atmos Reckoning. And that sounded like an item pretty good for Darius to me. Because it works on staying in combat longer and it gives you more AD based on your max health. So, it's a pretty solid thing. Now let's go ahead and just beat this guy up. All right, the flash out of Renekton already respecting the Darius. Really, really respecting me. I appreciate that, man. I do. I do, I do. But let's see. I have to kill one minion on this next wave. Oh, never mind. I'm totally fine. So I was saying I have to kill one minion on the next wave first because then I'll get level two. So let's see, is he going to respect it again? It looks like he will respect the level 2. Alright, we grabbed the E just to see if I could get him really quick. With, um, you know, knowing he doesn't have flash, obviously. And then seeing if I could get him like that. So crippling strike that minion. Let's just push this in go ward real fast. It is a Rek'Sai. 230 is about the time you want to ward for jungle ganks uh, when you're a top laner. <coughs> And this should be good. And while we've got the time to talk about it, there is actually another new item as well. There is uh, two new items. One is Atma's Reckoning. The other is the Spear of Shojin. So what the Spear of Shojin does is like another Gargoyle Stone Plate. And I tried to read it like three times before I went into this game. And every single time, it just did not make sense to me. So, ooh, am I dead? No, I'm not dead. Let's pop this potion and hit him with another auto real fast. Wait for it. Wait for it. And boop. No. Yes. <laughs> okay. That works. That works. I thought I'd be able to get that without dying, but I should have flashed, man. I should have flashed. I thought the Q would heal me enough because I was missing so much of my health and then I'll be able to just go right back in and kill him. But it's a kill for a kill. I'm still up on CS. We both teleport in. I've still got my flash, though. So we're kind of kind of in a good spot, to be honest. So pull him in and whoop. Maybe. All right. Hit him one more time. Just slap him once. And walk at him. Boop. There we go. Pull him. One more auto. We'll do the trick. Goodbye. So take advantage of the flashless Renekton. Get an easy kill right there. That is the tilt port coming out of him, thinking he can just fight me. Just because this guy's got a level on me and a minion wave, that doesn't mean shit. He let me get the five stack passive, and we will chop him down. So good stuff. And I get a solid level advantage off of that, as well as a large, large, large CS lead. So use the crippling strike to make sure I get that big one. And we'll go back here. So this isn't an ideal time to back because I won't be able to get this all the way under the turret. But since I have to run back anyways, it doesn't really matter. And Dr. Mundo should be really careful here because of this reason precisely. Fortunately, it looks like he is going to get out. But definitely something to be very mindful of. So with Renekton gone so long, this actually did actu uh, make it to crash into his tower. Which is really good for me because now he can't just freeze it. Bueno. <laughs> Marvelous. So 33 to 12 CS. We got two kills. And suddenly I'm glad I didn't use that flash. Are they able to get this guy? The, yeah, the blasting cone's there. Oh, Yasuo's going for a kill? He's not even going for the escape. The dumbass. He should have just gotten out of there. Well, you know, you got to respect a commendable play like that. He went for it. He went for the play. And, well, I mean, I guess you can fault him, but... You know, maybe you shouldn't. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What what do you think was gonna happen? What do you think was gonna happen? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Look, dude, I know I said don't make it <laughs> I know I said don't make it obvious, but you're making it obvious. Guy, like, come on, you're gonna get the PayPal money. It's fine, don't worry about it. 
But damn. I guess 3 1 and 0. Oh. I don't know why he did that. <laughs> PBE, ladies and gentlemen, PBE. So, as far as... Oh, wait, I could do the new Darius build, too. The Chinese Darius build. So, there is another Darius build right now that uh, I saw in my boy Fi's video that a Chinese challenger player is doing where he goes Trinity Force instead of Black Cleaver and then goes, like, straight into Banner of Command. It's really interesting, actually. And upon second thought, that's definitely not what I'm going to be doing this game because I really just... Oh... I was like, really? You're going to do this? <laughs> but upon second thought, that wouldn't be a good idea of this game because I want to do the Atmas. I don't want to do some random ass different build. Come here, boy. Ah, there you go. Respect it. <laughs> Respect the blade. I'm going to kill this and skibbity doo up on out of here. So I don't know where Rek'Sai is, even though I feel like I could just 1v2 them. Uh, I also want to go spend my money, get my man Demetrius, so we can protect that flank of ours. And we will grab this, one of these, and hustle. I'm not going to bother grabbing a bottle of Kool-Aid here because I really don't need the increased sustain. I'm already dunking this lane super hard, so, and the fact that I'm Darius really just makes it even easier to just be like, nah, I don't need that, I don't need that refillable, right? So, not even going to think about it, don't even look at it, like, it's... It's like when you wake up in bed and you see this lady that was just gorgeous with the beer goggles. But now in the morning, you're filled with regrets. And that's how I feel every time I purchase a refillable potion. And it's... It's something. Wait, I can fight this guy. What is he doing? What are you doing? Come here. You think you're fine? You think you're fine? Dude, your ultimate's not going to save you, brother! <laughs> What is this guy doing? I've got... Oh my god. He's crazy. He's actually crazy. He is spoon feeding me. This guy is turbo feeding me. He comes to lane, sees a Darius, and he's like, you know what? This guy's gotta be a YouTuber. He's got that sick-ass Dreadnova skin. I'm just gonna turbo feed this guy. Get on camera. So here he is. He's just sitting right like right on my lap, bowl of cereal in hand with the spoon going... Lah, 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 just right in my mouth. But instead, it's it's his life. So, push that in again, we go back, the wave is going to reset, I can get my Black Cleaver in 15 gold, and, oof, this is good. And it looks like the rest of my team is inting their faces off, except our mid laners, so this is actually going to make for a fun game, because they won't just give up. And even better, since I am Darius, you know, being tanky does benefit me quite a lot, they also have a full AD team. AD, 8, Everyone's AD. It's fantastic. I don't even need to teleport here. I'm already, like, all the way back to lane. And the wave is in such a beautiful position. This is perfect. This is just phenomenal. Spectacular, even. Come here. There's a wave. I don't care. Boop. Oh, I care a little bit. I'm barely not strong enough to one-shot the back line. Does my bleed at least kill them? It does. That's, that's just marvelous. Yeah, I should probably ping that a little sooner. In hindsight, you know, whatever. I'm sure he's got it, right? <clears throat> I'm on my way. I'm on my way. If you can make it to... There's a tower there. Fuck. Oh, no. I'm coming. I'm coming. If you can make it to me. If you can make it to me. And... Was good, buddy. Boop. And... Ooh, that hit me. Okay. Okay. And... Boop. No, I missed it! Stupid tiny corridor! Stupid, stupid, stupid tiny corridor! God damn it. Uh, if I played that better, dude, that was a double kill. But, apparently, I'm bad. We got, the we got the Dr. Mundo out there, safe and sound. So, you know what? We'll take the small victories. I killed myself. Wait! Oh, damn it. No, it's okay. I misplayed bad. That was my fault, buddy. Don't you worry about it. I made the mistakes there. Not you. So no worries. We get to teleport back up to lane now. Get these mini onions. And everything's all hunky-dory. No worries whatsoever. So boom, boom. I'm actually going to keep this wave here as long as I can. Um, 
Because the longer I can keep this here, the more I can force Renekton to ch like have to come to me to get minions. And that's better and better for me. Um, even if Rek'Sai comes up and ganks me, should be totally fine. We're going straight for the Atma's Reckoning now because I do have the Black Cleaver conf completed. Oop, I just misclicked. Oh, my goodness. Two minion miss. Feels bad. But, ooh, the Skull Crab just spawned up here too. I'm actually going to push this out and go get that. Because if I can secure a Skull Crab from my team, that's pretty good. So we'll do this. Is that Renekton? That is Renekton. Okay. I guess I'll just get the tower. <laughs> Alright. He must have teleported down there. Because... Or maybe he didn't. Maybe I'm just that blind right now. Alright, whatever. I'm going to get this tower. It'll get me first blood tower gold, which is 650 gold if you are solo when you attain it. So, really huge amount of gold. And as soon as I get this, dude, there's... Like, no matter what happens, they can't come top. They can't even look top anymore. This is my house. Does that must stack on... Yeah, it stacks on each second in combat with champions. I was checking, like, just to make sure it doesn't stack with auto attacks on champions. Because that would make it a really good item combined with, like, uh, Titanic Hydra. So, was checking for that. And, I mean, we'll just keep pushing this in harder than a pregnant lady up here. I mean, why not, right? No one's come to stop me, and even if they do, what are they going to do? Get chopped up? Yeah, that's about right. So, pop the Q, get all these minions. And, I mean, at most, they can send Rek'Sai and Renekton at me. So, Renekton just ran down and is actually just now teleporting back up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. If that's the choice you want to make, I can actually choose to go back here, uh, get my mana back, get the pickaxe for more AD. And actually, even though it is, you know, MR, I can still finish the Aegis, get the MR for it. Does that actually give me a little bit? Yeah, it gives me a little bonus armor too. But Renekton's ultimate is actually magic damage. Rek'Sai's missile Q is magic damage. Misfortune's E is magic damage. And Yasuo's... E is also magic damage. So, the MR is actually not going to be completely useless this game. It's just obviously not going to be as powerful as armor against a full AD team. But, always do consider when you're building items that sometimes, obviously in this situation, the point of the game is to test Atmas, but some, sometimes a little bit of a hybrid item is definitely not a bad choice. Because a lot of people totally overlook them, they see a full AD team, and just discredit the amount of magic damage that they can do over the course of the entire game. So, I'm going to see if I can get there in time. Oh, unlucky. Not going to be able to. That's unfortunate. But, since we know Renekton doesn't have his teleport, I can actually just take this turret. So, because Renekton, he can't defend this. Like, <laughs> he cannot defend this right now. If he does, because, like, other people are trying to come too... Like, I'll just kill them all. I have three levels up on you right now, dude. I don't know if this is a good idea for you. <laughs> I really don't think that was a good idea for you. <laughs> I, re <laughs> I really gotta admit, that didn't seem like the best idea you've had. So let's see. Wait, is this guy doing it too? Oh, man. I didn't pull him out of his dash in time. Bummer, bummer. Oh, well. We can afford the Atmos Reckoning. Perfect, beautiful, fantastic, stupendous, magnificent, and actually, can I get this guy? I can not. Wait, 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 and chop! <laughs> Saw that flash coming up in two seconds, and that's all I needed. So, hello, Yasuo. If I just run to my... Oh, God! Well, there goes the ult, and chop. No, nah, I'm dead. Just get out of there, muchachos. Just flee. Jaminy Christmas! Outplayed! <laughs> oh, man. That is a full damage Rek'Sai if I've ever seen one. Getting smacked by a 250 AP Vygar. I imagine that's going to be much more traumatic in the future. Oh. <laughs> Alright, get him, Phantom Dancer Mundo. Oh, that's not panning out for him. <laughs> that is certainly not panning out for him. 
Either way, Atma's Reckoning is complete. 11 up to 53 bonus attack damage. That's actually a lot. <laughs> what the hell? Right, I'm going to see if I can teleport on this and get in here and help. And what's up, baby? Wh what? Boy! All right, hold on. Get the speed boost. Right, I'm not going to be able to get that. We can definitely go for a dive here, though. Because there's really no reason not. To oh, well, I guess he has no mana. I can go for a dive here because I'm crazy. And... Let's see. I want to try this. I want to try out this Atmos. Because I, I understand how it stacks. And I do have a follow. Hello. Hello. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you guys doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Damn it. So if I had thought about that a little sooner... And stepped downward with my Q, I would have been able to heal off of Yasuo and ult him for the quadra kill, I think. But, you know, I think a triple's still pretty good. We still got the shutdown on Pike. We still killed the Misfortune and the Rek'Sai. Just should have been slightly better. Not bad, though. We do take those. We do, in fact, take those. So I think a Warmogs is going to be really good this game for me. Warmogs, Thornmail is going to be fantastic. Um, oh, Titanic Hydra would obviously be really good. I'm going to do that, actually. Because that sounds more, like, you know, up my alley as a player. You guys know how I am. When I'm playing something like this, don't get me wrong, tanking is good. But doing damage is even gooder, right? You know, it's, it's like, it's so much gooder. Not, not actually, but I like it. So, as Pike says, the best form of CC is death. So, they can't really do damage to me if they're dead. Right? So, by that logic, building more damage is fine. Plus, Titanic Hydra does actually do wonderfully on Darius, due to the fact that it does serve as an auto-attack reset to get another stack of your bleed off on people just that much faster. So, more wave clear. Not that it's needed on Darius, but it does work out. It does certainly work out. So, back up here, giving birth to the second turret in the top lane. Not, no one can stop me. Even if they come and, you know, try, I'm just going to hit the tower, like, once, and it's going to die. So, like this, it's just, yeah, see, he understands. You understand, don't you? And there's definitely people coming. Like, there's no way he's alone. He wouldn't be that close to my face alone. There's no way. I mean, I, I guess they could be on Dragon, right? Maybe? I don't know. Really? Wait. Oh. Oh, I thought he was actually going for me. I was like, do it. Do it. Do it? Oh. Well, I guess if I want him to do it, I should let myself get hit, huh? I'm getting four-manned. Whoop. Alright. Maybe. And... Uh. Come on. Oh. So close, man. So close. If only I'd done that a little better. Wait. They four manned me and my team still lost dragon. Not to flame, but like kind of flame. What the hell were you doing? <laughs> All right. Looks like they're shredding him a little bit. It's going to not go very well, though. Twitch needs to be auto attacking, but he's not really strong enough to do much of anything to them right now. So he's just going to make the executive decision to just die or not, not die, <laughs> not just die, but just not die. Which is totally fine. Totally fine. Get himself out of there. Bear did not die. Just give up what you can. And we'll go bottom real fast. I might need to get more uh, more armor fast. Maybe the Titanic Hydra isn't the best idea. I can't really defend this right now. So I'm actually just going to go bottom. Make sure that they can't just do this. And then I can flank them from the side. If they keep going. When my teammates are up. So... Going bottom here is kind of like insurance saying, hey, you guys can't just rotate bottom with this gigantic wave and get another turret for free. So we'll, we'll do that. I doubt they'll rush Baron here. I doubt they will. Because if they wanted to do the Baron, they should have done it when we were all down. And, you know, now we're, well, not down. So it's a little different. 
little bit of a different story. But we do need vision on it. Uh, there you go. That's the stuff. And she has a red buff. Does she have flash? Alright, she saw me from somewhere. I'm just gonna grab this camp real fast. Because if I do, I should have enough money for my, um... Yes, I do. My Titanic Hydra. So now we got the Titanic. We do have more HP, more AD, all that good stuff. And I can TP in here. We really need Mundo to come mid. Like, we really need him. He can't just be splitting like that. Especially if he's going to have that kind of build. So Fam Dancer on Mundo is actually fine, but it's not fine first. Like, that's... That's really bad. That's really bad. Now he's dead. That's unfortunate. That is mighty unfortunate. Alright, let's see what we can do. Because the issue is, like... He's that strong, right? Wait, is Pike going for me? He is. Is he going to try and snipe me? Ooh. Almost. Almost. Let's see. Maybe I can just keep kiting this out. I mean, as long as I keep on doing this long enough, maybe. I mean, they didn't get Baron. <laughs> That's one thing. But fuck, man. Fuck. So that was definitely a Baron call they should have made. Don't know what to do. Um, pretty much keep farming. That's like the best thing you can do at this point is just keep farming. Uh, cause, like, all we can really do right now is try and wait for Mundo to actually be tanky, and then we need him to farm up. Farm and wait for Mundo to get useful items. Cause right now he's just falling over. After that we should be fine if... Leona Vigar gets stuns off on us. There we go. So that's basically all we really need to do. Which is, you know, it's <laughs> it's a lot easier said than done. It's a lot easier said than done, obviously. And I should be down here. Because I think I can get this guy. If I catch him. So... And no. Alright. They should get this though. They should be able to get this. Yeah. That should be. Yeah. Good stuff. Okay. So I need to get armor as well, obviously. As soon as I do, it's gonna be tremendously helpful. But getting three of them down, really good. Vigar. You hate to see it, dude. He was trying so hard to wait for it. But it's still get oh, and he runs back into it. So saddening to see, man. So saddening to see. You've been there, though. You've been there. You ever played against Yasuo, man? You've been in those shoes. And it does not feel good. No matter who you are, it does not feel good. Well, let's see. I should be able to do this still. Uh, I'll let Twitch get that farm. I'm not going to go down and contest it. No reason for it. And So this is spawning. This is alive. There's Pike. Can we fight over an Infernal? Or should I go... We're in no position to fight over the Infernal. Twitch is backing Mundo's top doing red. I'm not even sure why he's doing that. Well, this is a catch. So that's good. Boop. Well, that just helps a lot. <laughs> this opens up a lot of options. So, we need to do something while she is dead. But, I don't think face checking is the best idea. <laughs> we need to wait for the team. Alright, now we can go for something. Maybe. Maybe. Oop. No. Oh, 700 gold? God damn! God damn! Oh, I can do this. Mundo's in there. And... Boop. Okay. 
Oh, thanks for to your door service. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh no, brother! <clears throat> wait. Nice. All right, she misplayed that, and I live because of it. Hell yeah, dude. All right. Okay. That's the exact turn of events that we needed. And now I'm a little hesitant to be here right now, but I do a lot of damage to these turrets, man. Do a lot of damage. And if Renekton tries to jump on me, I can probably just Q him, but it's better. It's going to be better for us to just get out here. Definitely going to be better. They will rush Baron if we overstay. So just let them know exactly why we're backing off right here. Because even though we could probably have pushed for the inhibitor, we likely would have... I don't want to risk that. We likely would have died for it. And they can definitely rush Baron. It's okay if I stay, because I can back teleport in. But if the rest of my team, yeah. So this is exactly what we need to avoid. I can teleport right in. No worries. What the... Uh, okay... Get this quickly. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Actually, I want to go for this. I want to go for this. I need more armor right now. Warmogs would be good, don't get me wrong, but I think Randuin's is going to be better because of Yasuo. So, I think that's going to help me a lot. With someone... I'm going bot. My TP is up. Stay mid top side for Baron fight. But don't get caught. Mundo is so fucked. This is... How is... God damn it. <laughs> what, what was he doing in there, man? I would have pinged that, but like by the time I even can ping it, what what's a ping useful for? I'm teleporting in on the minion here. I should be able to do something. I'm going for this guy. Because I think he's my best bet for trying to do anything. Alright, the bleed is going to get him. This is... Go, go Twitch! <laughs> go! He doesn't have his wall! God. Yes. Perfect. Okay, that works beautifully as well. Perfect. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. I still think he should have gone when Leona was in because Yasuo did use his wall here. But regardless, it does not matter at all because he was able to open up on a good time after he missed the first opportunity. So it's still really, really good in the end. Just my two cents. Just throwing in my two cents. Because as an AD carry player against a Yasuo, the reason I was saying open up here is because we know the two big things. Yasuo, one, has no wall, and two, has no minion wave or targets to dash through to get to you. And those are the big things you need to watch out for when you're playing AD carry against a Yasuo. Does he have his wall? Can he get to me? If those two conditions are no, then you can feel free to open up and try and shoot him. Now, I'm not going to show myself bottom here, because Twitch just did. And if I do that, that's just like saying, hey, go get Baron. It's free. <laughs> so, I definitely can't go down bottom right now. Even though two of them just did to get the twitch. Um, that's really bad. We need to at least get this scuttle crab. So I'm going to pull it, reduce its resistances. Oh my god, so much money. So much money. And now I'm just going to try and establish vision, get top pressured. Because I guess Mundo got the kill, but... Wait, where is the pick go? Oh, there's Pike. Oh my god, what is this scrapping? I can get Randuins now. Um, I should be able to clean this up. Alright, got Randuins. This puts me actually at full build. So 287 armor. Full build. How much age or damage does the Atmos give me? 91. Damn. That's pretty good. It's actually really good. So he does have a Serax Gauge. I need to be careful not to get baited by that. Whoa, hello. And let's see. So pop this and pull him in. All right, this is a triple kill for me if I've ever seen one. Boop! And wait, wait. Boop! 
There it is! <laughs> Man, I completely discredited the, um... Completely, completely discredited the... Sterax from Renekton right after I had just pointed out that he had one. Still not gonna matter too much, though. We should go for this. We should definitely go for this. And I should be able to just kill her, right? Especially if I get the honey fruit and then just sit in the bush. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk right over here. And we know Yasuo is over at Dragon. Yeah. We need to just go for this. So I'm coming in to tank it. I am coming in to tank it. Because I did not see that our tank was not there. Obviously they have vision, but it uh, shouldn't matter too much. And pull them in. Boop, boop, boop. Easy. Stay on this. Maybe. Oh my god. This is still gonna work out, because they don't have any way to get. Which buddy? Stay in there. <laughs> okay. It's still gonna work out. But. Twitch just had to keep on shooting there. He's really strong. I think he, I think our Twitch spent so much of the game behind that he's really, really, really underestimating just how strong he is. Because um, he is tremendous right now. These three items, really good. He is so strong right now. So I think that was just like he underestimated just how super strong he is. Which totally, totally happens. I get that. Uh, let's see. Should I sell any of my items for more tankiness? Nice job, dude. Nice job. No, we need to... We cannot let them get Elder. That's the one thing we can't do. Um, I don't think I actually sell anything here, right? I think I just grab this. So 98 AD. And that's only with 4200 health. Like, if I had a lot more health, obviously that would be more. Oh, 105 AD at max. So it's 21 AD per second I'm in combat. Predator Vigar running her down. Not going to get her. Good try, buddy. Good try. But in this situation, people need to stop showing up whenever Baron's up. And they don't... Well, I guess he's an exception. He is an exception. He does have teleport as well. I thought he had ghost. My apologies. My sincerest apologies. I thought he had ghost. I... Maybe could have flashed for that, but I don't have enough information to make that play. I really don't. So I'd rather just not. Rather just not. What the fuck? What the fuck? Ooh! Come on, brothers! We made the play, dude. That's all we need to do. That's all we need. Pull me. Oh, you're supposed to hit me with your abilities, man. Oh, you're dead. Wait, maybe? Oh, no. 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 Don't pull me away from her. Alright, whatever. Get the inhibitor. Whew. Yasuo stepped just a little too far up. I was able to pull him right out of position, man. That is just perfect. We can... Can we win off of that? I think we can. I think we actually can. Come on, brother. <laughs> we, Dude, it's like going on a little circus ride every time. It's such a short cooldown, too. I love that. Alright, let's... Uh, I guess I'm going this way. No! Fuck! <sighs> Dude, that, that hook on Pike is so, so low cooldown. He pulled me like every five seconds. That's awesome. Alright, let's see. So they can make the choices to either go for Baron here or try and get our bottom inhibitor because they do have a big wave at bottom. But if these two don't die, we do still have a good opportunity and mundo is finally tanky enough that he is starting to be very relevant now so that is also good 
I think they're going to make the decision to go for the Baron. So... Is that even worth trying to fight off? I don't think it is. Because if they die, that's way worse. I mean, he can try and go for a steal over the wall. Because they don't have good ways to really get him. Never mind, I forgot Pike. Forgot Pike uh, does exactly what that does. So, shit. Okay, now we have to deal with a barrened up team. And we cannot. Cannot, cannot, cannot let them get Elder. We can't let them Elder. We cannot let them Elder. Because if they get Elder on a 4-Dragon Elder, the game's over. Um, I keep feeling like I should sell something. Like, probably the Atmos, but I don't want to. I really don't want to. And I don't want to sell anything else. Nothing else makes any sense to sell. Actually... I can go for a back door here. If they go for the Elder... Wait, no! 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 She fucking changed the position of Demetrius! <laughs> Fuck! Now she's caught! No! God damn it! Oh, man. Oh, man. You're not gonna pull me. I mean, I can go for this play. If we can stall them, no, no, no. Oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is so good. This is so good. All right, avoid his knock up. Take him out. Boom. He's dunked. Come here. No, yeah. Come on. Nice. We just won. Oh my god. Pike just threw that fight so hard. And Yasuo sat there and let me wail on him. We just won. Nice, dude. Oh, my God. What a butt clincher. You could not pull dental floss through my cheeks right now. So, GG. Wait, did Miss Fortune leave after they lost the fight? Is that what that was? Or was that a classic PB disconnect? Oh, man. What a shitty way to win. What a poopy way to win, man. Ah, that doesn't even feel as good. I mean... It was still a good game, don't get me wrong. That was still... Okay, I guess we don't get to see the after-game stats. Is this... Thank you, PBE. Thank you, based, broken-ass PBE. You have to actually type in your name for some reason to go see your games. 24, 10, and 11, dude. That's not the Atmos icon in-game. That's the Atmos icon... Well, I mean, that's literally what Atmos and Paler used to look like, if you guys didn't know. Um, so Atmos Reckoning is going to be a little different than Atmos and Paler, obviously. But a good game nonetheless. 57,000 damage. Ooh. And honestly, I know it sounded like at some points I had a lot of criticism for my team. But that was just me being, I guess, overly critical. And trying to point out to you guys uh, exactly what was going wrong when it was going wrong. And I should have sang their praises more because they did end up doing a lot of very good things. I tried to mention them as they were happening. But a lot of things did work out and we were able to make the good plays in the end. Um, so I did not mean to sound overly critical or harsh. That was not my intent. I know it may have come off that way. Uh, so my apologies, truly. And overall, I think Atma is going to have a good place in the league on some champions because that actually did feel pretty good on Darius. Uh, I think it could feel pretty good on Renekton. He did have it. Renekton, Alawi, I think, would be really good with it. Um, honestly, most bruisers in general, because it's tank stats in AD. So, if you're a tank that has a decent amount of health, then yeah. I could see a lot of use coming out of it. But we'll see how it comes along in the game. Um, and, you know, since I just thought of it. We'll go into Spear of Sojin or Shojin right now so you guys can see it. Uh, no, we won't because it's not in the game. So, I'll show that to you guys next video because uh, I don't think I showed you guys. <laughs> I don't think I showed you guys in the game. Um, I should be able to see it, right? Spectral Cutlass? No, that's the ARAM item. This is going to tilt me. This is going to tilt me. Sh 
Joel. I'm so sad. Can I type Atmos and find it? I can't. I'm tilted. <laughs> Whatever. Good game nonetheless. Atmos Darius, guys. Really good. Really strong. Feels good. And we got a lot more builds to cover today on the PB. I hope you guys will stick around and check those videos out. If you did enjoy this one, make sure you leave a like in the comment. It really does help me out. If you haven't yet, make sure you do subscribe to the channel or ring that bell if you want to be notified whenever I do upload a video. And as always, I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!